quick update on the layout. It's coming along, not totally done. This is again a, basically a build table. I'm just uh, putting things together. Haven't fixed anything yet or nailed anything down. Just wanted to see it, see what my layout ends up being. I went ahead and turned the train off. A lot easier to hear me otherwise. Uh, this has basically got a bunch of Woodland Scenics on it. Uh, I'm not a modeler, but I really like the look of their stuff, so um, that's what I've mostly geared in on. Plus, I like the consistency across the board on the layout. You'll see I've got a few things that are different, but starting left to right, I went ahead and put the Woodland Scenics water tower in. See the little building down there beside it. Um, we got the Morrison Door Factory. Really like the way this looks. This is the front of it. These are Woodland Scenics trees, by the way, too. Uh, Woodland Scenics wood pole extension. Um, and then the back of the Morrison Door Factory. Again, like the way it looks. Um, coming over here, we've got the depot. I got the small depot. It's meant to be a small town. Um, so it's not going to have a huge depot here. Uh, first street over, we've got the corner emporium. Again, Woodland Scenics. You got the barber shop, the ice cream shop, the billiards upstairs. In the back row, we've got Sully's Tavern. Again, you know, you can zoom in and uh, you can put your figures in here. I haven't gotten to that point yet, but uh, the bottoms will come out. You can put figures in. And we've got the general store. Again, Woodland Scenics. Um, I like the look of it. And you'll see the inside. Moving right across, we've got uh, another Woodland Scenics, the post office. Not sure if I like where this is at for my final build, but uh, again, very nice product. Um, the old piece I have on the layout is the old Lionel. Um, the wiring wasn't any good. I pulled it out and put two LEDs in that are also part of the plug and play system from Woodland Scenics. Um, goes together nicely, allows me to control with one switch. And the latest edition is in honor of my grandfather, Herman. Uh, that's the Herman Sauerkraut Factory. I am of German descent. Um, so sauerkraut's part of the life. And uh, again, great detail. Um, looking up, uh, we've got the bridge. This is the big trestle bridge from Lionel. One thing about this bridge, it's very easy to assemble. Um, got to do a little bit of wiring underneath, but not, everything's pre-wired. You just got to connect things. It is not lit, um, you do not have lights on it, but again, I, you know, you can take your LED lights, which you can buy them individually from Woodland Scenics as part of that just plug and play system as well. And then uh, coming back around, should mention the uh, cover bridge. Uh, I am from Indiana, we have quite a few of those around here. Um, inside is nice lit. Uh, I haven't finished out the interior of any of these. Got a small road, cover bridge, the barn, Again, Woodland Scenics, Shed, the windmill. And then on the trains, um, basically I've got mostly a Pennsylvania. I'm hoping for like, looking for like a 30s, 40s type of feel, but uh, I know this isn't, I'm not a historian. But some Woodside passenger cars. Those are MTH Woodside passenger cars. Um, they're very delicate when you order them, so make sure that they're packed well or you're dealing with somebody. And then coming around, one final swing. There you go. That's where she sits now. Uh, control bench is not actually. I'm running two CW80 transformers. Got four switches, uh, remote switches, and then I've got two manual switches on the front. Again, uh, CUDA layout uh, with some additional track to extend it. Um, and then that little inner pass right there is just your standard inner pass fast track um, that I put in. So that's actually what had the manual switches come with it. But I moved the manuals to the front of the track. They don't need to be remote, so no, no big deal there. And I've got a couple gate crossings here. Um, these uh, came in, actually they're separate, so the road bed and the gate crossings are separate. I know they sell these integrated. I would recommend you go that route um, as opposed to them being separate. A lot less wiring, more concise. I'm going to try one of those out if I buy another set of crossings. So 